With the release of Adventure Time 2nd Distant Land Special, Obsidian, there's a sad fact that might be a reality. Jake is dead. I know it sounds completely out of nowhere, but let me explain. Obsidian gave us an incredible story surrounding Marceline and Princess Bubblegum, along with a few other characters. While it was fun to watch, one of the biggest highlights in Obsidian doesn't even come from them. In the special's final few minutes, there's a party celebrating everything we've watched. Out of a van comes a surprise guest I doubt anyone expected would show up. He's missing his arm, he's got the same hair, yeah, this is adult Finn. It's incredible to finally see him again, especially when Distant Lands has been centered around others. All things considered, it looks like Finn is doing well. Does Despite all the terrible encounters he's had over the course of Adventure Time, he's still in bright spirits. However, there's one thing missing in this equation. A certain dog who always accompanied Finn on his adventures. Where on earth is Jake? He doesn't appear in the van, and we get no direct reference to him in the character's dialogue, but there's one major hint in the form of a tattoo. Jake is winking, and he's having a great time, forever being a part of Finn's chest. Did Jake die? Is that why Finn is traveling around with Bronwyn instead of him? There may not be an official answer right now, but we can still theorize. Your eyes. Thanks to Ridgewald for sponsoring this video. It's light, sleek, and carries way more than you think, not moving around awkwardly in your pocket. Most people are using unorganized wallets from decades ago. That ain't good. The Ridgewald is here to save the day. Holds up to 12 cards, over 30 colors and styles, and durable materials that last a lifetime. What? There are 30,000 five-star reviews online. You can even try it out for 45 days, then get a refund if you don't love it. I'm using Aluminum Navy. Gets the job done and is a lot stronger than my other wallet. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash veil and use code veil. Link in the description below. I think the biggest thing that points towards him being dead is the tattoo itself. Not just the fact that Finn got it at all, but what it represents. Take a look at the blue flowers all around Jake's happy face. They share a surprising similarity to a certain type of flower in our world, the forget-me-nots. They represent a number of different things surrounding love or friendship, but the key idea here is the celebration of a bond. Forget-me-not flowers, as the nickname tells you, is basically a way to treasure the connection with someone you'll never forget. It's a connection that can't be broken by anyone or anything no matter how many fights they get in or obstacles they face. In this context, it would definitely make sense for Finn to get the tattoo. I mean, come on, he's remembering his lifelong best friend. The nature of a tattoo means it lasts for the rest of Finn's life, essentially carrying on the unforgettable legacy of their bond. And hey, these guys are more than best friends. They're brothers. They really care for each other. At the end of the BMO Distant Land special, we see a baby version of Finn playing with a younger Jake. They stick together no matter what, which makes you wonder, why why didn't Jake also arrive in the van? It's looking more and more like we know the dark truth. Something we know about this Adventure Time sequel series is that every episode doesn't take place in chronological order. BMO was before everything we've seen, while Obsidian was after everything we've seen. Take a look at the upcoming fourth special, Together Again, and it reveals a clue. The synopsis is that Finn and Jake reunite to discover their brotherly bond and embark on the most important adventure of their lives. Could this take place before Obsidian? Maybe showing an older Jake on the verge of death? Or who knows? Maybe it takes place after Obsidian, and Jake is actually very much alive. Let me be clear that both possibilities are on the table, but I do think him dying makes more sense. Throughout the series, we've seen constant foreshadowing of Jake no longer being a part of this world. More than any other character, he's been placed in situations of real danger. In some cases, he straight up dies, but is quickly revived soon after. Death. King of Mars. What's your business? I need this one back. Hmm. What we know is that he isn't as safe as some other characters on the show. Combine that with the fact that he's a dog, doesn't live as long, and all the tattoo stuff, it makes for a solid argument on why he really is gone. Jake isn't immortal, he's gonna eventually die of old age, and that's what we may be seeing when he doesn't show up at the Glass Kingdom party. Storyboard artist Steve Wolfhard shared his headcanon for what would happen when Jake dies. The comic gives us Jake's funeral, everyone's crying, and it's just a depressing day. When his body gets bigger and bigger, Princess Bubblegum takes it to the missing spot on Earth and fills it up so it can grow new life. It's a wholesome end to a character that's touched the hearts of many, but there's a catch. Since this is a headcanon and not actually a part of the show, this may not be what canonically happened. But it does once again plant the seeds that Jake's death is imminent. Because of his old age, especially when Obsidian takes place, it makes sense why he's not with Finn. Overall, we can only talk about the theories right now, but get ready for Together Again, also known as Finn and Jake's final adventure. It should reveal the answers we've been looking for.
But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.